Hey comrades, Mr. Anime here. And this month is October, the spookiest month of the year. So many scary things happen on this month, like Halloween, sacrifices, and my channel's anniversary. So today I'll be counting down the top 10 scariest anime characters. The rules for this list are, they have to be scary, they have to be spooky, and they have to be... Ha, gotcha. I bet you weren't expecting that. Oh, Jesus Christ! Number 10, the monkey from Toy Story 3. Come on, how is this not scary? Just look at this horrific beast. It's terrifying. In the movie, Woody has to go and face it to get the keys, but if I, if I was Woody... I would just leave my friends there, probably because I don't have any. But look at it. Also, it makes this terrifying screaming sound. This just shows how much of a great character Woody is. But then the fourth movie came out. Whoa! No way! It's What's Forky, that? guys! It's Forky! Do you see this? Forky is calling us, literally! Bro, oh my god, guys! Do you see this? Should I answer it, bro? Yeah, 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 I, I'm, I'm honestly freaking out, guys. He's evil! He tried to attack me, Forky! He's stuck in a box and put in the mail because of you! I know this has nothing to do with the list, but I hate Toy Story 4. And Toy Story 2 and 3, Woody's loyalty is tested every time to see if he could stay with this kid. But in this movie, he's just like, Hey, look, it's Bo Peep, and she is very hot toy. I will leave my friends for her. It's stupid. Here's the order you watch these movies. Watch one through three, watch the shorts, and skip four. Number nine, Pegasus. Pegasus from the anime Yu-Gi-Oh! is a scary villain. Now, a lot of you might not have watched Yu-Gi-Oh! And I just have to say, what are you doing with your life? Let me explain. In season one, Yugi, the main character, not Yu-Gi-Oh, it's Yugi. Yu-Gi-Oh is the card game, but not the card game they play in the show. The one in the show is called Duel Monsters, not Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is the card game in real life, but the show Yu-Gi-Oh is named after the card game, but the card game in the show is Duel Monsters. Get it? Get it? You get it? Yeah. Anyway... In the first season, Yugi's grandfather has rare cards, and the anti-hero Kaiba wants his blue eyes white dragon, but they won't give it to him. Then this rich evil guy kidnaps Yugi's grandfather to torture him to bring back his dead wife or something. Yugi has to go and stop him with his friends, but Kaiba keeps trying to stop them because Pegasus is a madman, and he also kidnapped Kaiba's little brother. Then... At some point while Kaiba is fighting Yugi, he's about to lose, so he threatens Yugi with suicide if he doesn't let him win. Then when they do get to Pegasus's castle, he makes Yugi and his friend Joey duel to be able to save their loved ones. You get why this guy is evil? Also, he looks like Jeffree Star. And this isn't the only dark thing in the show. There's demon possession, melting dragons, guns, and in one episode... There's a creepy pervert who is a grown man trying to take pictures of an underage girl. Don't worry, guys. Four kids edited this scene to make it more like he was mugging her. I don't see the problem here, four kids. I think it's totally normal to have a drunk man sexually assault a teenage girl. They're clearly too sensitive. Anyway, it's clearly a great anime. Also, Joey Wheeler is the best. He sounds like the scout. 10 out of 10. Number 8. All 100 of Obama's clones. Now, I usually don't get political on this channel, but I need to talk about this. Last year, Donald Trump made this tweet. If anyone sees people who look like former President Obama, please call and report it. A lot of people thought this was a joke until these sightings of multiple Obamas started to appear. It's like we all know what Trump did. He cloned Obama too many times, and now they're all loose. Oh, 
Good thing scientists are coming up with a formula that will poison wild Obamas. Because apparently they can be very hostile. Oh good. I don't have to use this anymore. Number 7. Dennis Reynolds. When you first watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, you think Dennis is the normal one of the group. But slowly you start realizing he's spiraling into insanity. Showing unhuman abilities. And he is so crazy. He calls Danny DeVito ugly. Ugly. What? Ugly? I'm ugly. Yeah? With that anteater nose, you're telling me I'm ugly? My nose was chiseled by the gods themselves, Frank. My body was sculpted to the proportions of Michelangelo's David. You, on the other hand, well... You're a pit of despair. Nope. You are nitpicking and biased. I win. Bye-bye. Now, I know it's the character Frank, but he's played by Danny DeVito. This is going too far. We all know Danny DeVito is the most beautiful person on Earth. The government even made a new holiday for him called Danny Day, where you bring a cardboard cutout of Danny DeVito to prom. Anyway, back to Dennis. He thinks he's some sort of god. Very spooky. I'm the luckiest! Number 6, Glue Man. If you don't know who Glue Man is, He's Jerma's rival in the anime series Jerma Rumble. The fuck are you doing here, Glue Man? This is my night. On first glance, he doesn't seem that scary. He doesn't win any of the Jerma Rumbles, so how scary could he be? Well, trust me, he's very scary. In Jerma Rumble live action, the best Jerma Rumble, by the way, he comes in and starts eliminating people left and right. He even eliminates Jerma by throwing him through a table. And he's not a one-trick pony. He starts clotheslining people. And then with the rock bottom and his signature move, the sword slash. But I'm not done yet because I want to keep on talking about how great German Rumble is. I swear, there's, a char there's character arcs in these guys. One of the characters, Pac-Man, slowly starts getting stupider and stupider. Pac-Man, I think, blew a casket in his brain. Until it all leads up to him getting rid of the magician who was tearing people's organs out because he wanted a seat. Then there's Gabe Newell, who always worked so hard and stayed in the ring for so long. But in German Rumble 3, he's in the last two. It's him versus the pencil, and the pencil wins by cheating. This was not very cash money. Now that I think about it, I think Jerma is the more scary than Glue Man. Just look at this. Yeah, yeah, you, you know what? Jerma is number six now. I'm changing my mind. Number five, The Joker. Since a new movie about The Joker is out, I decided to include him. Also, he's very scary. How about another joke, Murray? No, I think we've had enough of your jokes. What do you get? I don't think so. When you cross I think a mentally ill loader with a society that abandons him and treats him like trash! Call the police, I'll please. tell you what you get! Call the police! You get what you fucking deserve! But there's so many types of the Joker, it's hard to keep up. So here's my timeline of the Joker's backstory. First, the Joker's real name was uh, Michael Jackson. Then he fell into acid and became the Joker. But acid is on the periodic table, and so is helium, which is known for giving people a high-pitched voice. And the Newtonic number is 2 times that by he, which is right there, you get he he. So the periodic table killed Michael Jackson, which is a well-known fact. But then Batman comes in and he shoots and kills the Joker. But he comes back as a Joker 2.0. What's the matter? Missing your balls? That's basically the, his entire backstory. And he single-handedly made us afraid of clowns in 2016 YouTubers that dressed as clowns. Run. Number four, Nostalgia Critic. This man is clearly mentally insane. Abortion. Number three, Cutsman. Cutsman's his name, cutting is his game, and he doesn't mean hair. I'm not talking about the Mega Man character, that stupid video game. It plays too much like Mighty Number no. 9, and that game sucks too. I'm talking about Cutsman from Captain Inn, the best anime. They had all of the best video game characters in Captain Inn, like uh, Link, Mario, and Simon Belmont. 
that looks like Johnny Bravo. But in this episode, Captain N joins forces with Mega Man and they meet the evil drug dealer communist Cutsman. Look at this horrifying scene. I know, absolutely bone chilling. Cutsman is so important to the lore of the show. Can't wait for those Cutsman action figures. Number two, Ghost Pokemon. Pokemon isn't very scary unless you're a kid with epilepsy watching the Legend of Porygon episode, but ghost Pokemon are pretty scary. Look at these Pokedex entries. Phanatomp? Fana however you say that. A Pokemon composed of the dead souls of children who perished in the woods. That's messed up. How are 10-year-olds allowed to be near these things? We've got some terrible parents in the Pokemon universe. Even Mr. Mime would be better. In one episode of the anime, Ash gets murdered to death by ghost Pokemon. No joke, they drop a chandelier on his head, killing him. Then he becomes a ghost and picks up Misty, drops her from the 20 feet drop onto Brock, killing them both. It's clear that these ghost Pokemon are controlling his mind to kill his loved ones. I don't want to get into a game theory territory, but you can clearly tell Pokemon are giving people a negative effect. It's rotting their brains. That's why Team Rocket can get away with all these dummy, dumb, sick disguises. You know I haven't watched Pokemon in a while. Now I'm feeling pretty nostalgic for it. I think I'm going to watch it right now. Okay. No, no, no wait. Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, oh, my, no. No, God. No, please stop. Please stop. Before we get to number one, I have some honorable mentions. The Underquaker. Just look at him. He's so healthy, he's deadly. He could break your spine in seconds without any milk. Shark boy, look at him. It's pretty scary. Wait a minute. He was Shark Man Frank all along. And you know he has the best albums. I know a treasure more precious than gold. Wario, he may be sexy, but he's also scary. And Joe. I would put Joe in, but a lot of people don't know him, so in the comments, type in who's Joe and I'll tell you. With that out of the way, let's get to number one. Number one, Booberry. Let's be honest. Booberry is the scariest cereal mascot out of all of these guys. And let's not forget that his cereal is the best too, only available on the spookiest month of the year has loads of carbohydrates that are guaranteed to make your body more healthy. This is definitely not a paid advertisement. Just look at this guy who loves Booberry so much. <laughs> Get all of this. Yeah. This tracks as you know, Booberry is one of the best cereals ever. Wow. Booberry be is clearly by now in these Yeah, it's so healthy Batteries for you. Included. It's better than Count Shankula. That's my uh, it's list. Got I milk. hope you enjoyed it's it. Got it's got a bowl. It's got a spoon. Later, my wheel. Uh, it's clearly the best uh, cereal. Uh, uh, cereal. Uh, they will ever uh, grace the market. Uh, a real classic. Uh, Cereal, a cereal to ever exist. Uh, uh, as you know, Ghost Ever and Blueberry is the best. This is not a paid advertisement. This is Blueberry, uh, not a paid advertisement at all. Blueberry is the best cereal you'll ever see in the entire world. Whoa, look at that guy. He's dancing, he loves Booberry so much. Get get a little of that guy. He's doing a little ditty. Wow. I can't believe this. I can't believe how much he loves Booberry. Booberry 